Alright, so we're gonna get some thoughts about another feud that's going on, Vlad, that doesn't have to do with the NWO, but it's stemmed from that War Games match. It's Lex Luger and Arn Anderson. Because Lex Luger right. technically was the yeah. one that tapped, but, although he didn't even tap, which is funny, but Arn Anderson blames him for that loss. But this one is going to be no different to be sure. Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hogan, and the macho man, Randy Savage. But there's another one that we need to talk about. Luger and Anderson. You know, they're blaming Luger because yeah. he gave up at Fall Brawl. He was mugged, he was mobbed, and he crawled out of the ring calling Sting's name after all the controversy about Sting. Mike, how do you see the match? Well, I agree, Eric, with the situation as far as the Four Horsemen goes. They said going into the war games, Arn Anderson specifically in an interview said that you would have to kill him. He would not quit. I think the Horsemen, and Anderson in particular, really placed the blame on Lex Luger oh, yeah. for defeat at well, the brawl. Um, well, he's called he was, Lex Luger. He was already ready to go to the hospital. He had this whole room ready to go. Well, Luger wasn't willing to die like that for this whole thing. No. Oh, Luger did not want to die. He wasn't ready to go to the hospital. Because you're going to be fighting a man who is double tough in Arn Anderson. Double tough, and he's really a threat. In fact, he is threatened to make an example out of the renegade right here tonight. I wouldn't want to be in the renegade. All right, so that is what's going on tonight. So there's a warm-up match for Arn Anderson against the renegade. The renegade. This is the renegade. So Arn Anderson's coming out with woman. We're still in the Four Horsemen. I guess Miss Elizabeth is gone. Love this. I don't know if I've said this enough, but I love this speech. Oh, it's such a good thing. That need the stinger. A lot of history between these two competitors. All right, so this isn't really a squash. Art Anderson does have some trouble with the Renegade, but I'm going to skip most of it. I assume he beats him with the DDT. Pretty much. But yeah, as you see here, he did have to take a little bit of a respite on the outside go talk to woman and stuff get a little bit of a a break is really slow down oh, here here's a woman here's a nice shot of woman fucking sucked him in the back of the head <laughs> yeah, yeah. what the fuck was that it was like coming at him with a cartwheel or something that was weird. Well, he was doing that move that people do sometimes. I don't think it was that weird. Well, take a good but... look, Mr. Luger. He didn't have him up in the... Still attacking him? Go and shake his hand. Yeah. This is Aaron Anderson. He takes it to a, a new limit. This man is all business. A Fucking company full of heels. Everyone's a heel in this company. Yeah, Lex Luger had to stop that beat down of poor Renegade. Discretion, the better part of Valor, lacked any other horseman other than woman. What do you think of that match, Vlad? Is that one going to be worth watching when we get there? Luger versus Arn I guess I, mean, I do want to see who yeah. wins it, at least. Yeah, I mean, Arn Anderson is one of the more underrated workers of all time and one of the more underrated wrestlers of all time. I'm a big fan of Arn Anderson. Let's skip a little bit. What the? What is this? Here at WCW, and we get a look at the Squire, Dave Taylor, and Mike, David you're a Taylor. man of the world. You uh, got your finger on the pulse of the national wrestling activity. Well, he's abusing his butler. Oh man, he's the guy with Regal. Oh, oh, why is he punching on this guy? He just laid him out. With an attack, a European I don't know. On Jeeves as he comes with Jeeves. With Jeeves. With Jeeves. Of course, Taylor. Another Lord weird, Steven terrible Regal. gimmick from this era of WCW. WCW. Let's see who he's facing. Yeah. I think he's the one fa he's facing Lex Luger. Uh, this yeah. is going to be an easy victory. Let's just let's just skip to the torture right. I hope you're seeing this man who has been your friend for so long. Again, I say as I said earlier, the right. past is the past. It's over. It's water right under the bridge. It's water right under the bridge. It's the greatest Lex move in Luger. wrestling history. According to Kate. That's so that's a win for Lex Luger. All right, let's get forward. Slim Jim's Halloween Havoc coming your way. Oh, God damn. Arn Anderson. God damn. Well, that looks a little fake. That looks a little concerto fake. Lex Luger. Before they slam the floor. Luger got suckered with a steel Man, Luger got sucker punched. 
Okay. This is for horseman style. Yeah, horseman style beating. You know, come from behind. They could never get the NWO like that, though, because the NWO travel in packs. You know it right now. They never walked anywhere alone. All right, let me skip forward a little bit into the night. 